What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name's Lloyd, I am not the single guy. Today we're gonna be talking about the seven qualities of high value men. So if you wanna be a high value guy, you should watch this video because I'm gonna be going over the seven qualities that I think you need to have to be a high value guy. So let's begin with number one. Number one is going to be you put yourself first. This is something that a lot of guys talk about. I've talked about numerous times on this channel, but it's true. You know, think about yourself in a given situation. So like, let's say you're on an airplane and the masks come down. Almost every single time, the stewardess is gonna tell you to put the mask on yourself before you put it on anybody else first. The reason why is because if you don't help yourself out first, you cannot help the people around you. That is why a high value guy needs to put himself first. The meaning of a high value guy is you're giving value to others. And this is actually going to be one of the other points, but um, you have to put yourself first in order to do this. Because if you don't, then your relationships are going to suffer, the people around you are going to suffer, you're not going to be able to give your all to your clients or whatever business or whatever it is. So if you don't put yourself first, you're overall going to be less valuable in our society. And how the hell are you going to be a high value guy if you're less valuable? So the important thing here is to put yourself first, your health, your career. This does not mean that everybody else gets put to the wayside. You never help anybody else out. No, no, you have to help other, help out other people, but you have to put yourself first on the list. Okay. If you're dead, you can't help out anybody else. If you're, you know, not in your, not your best self, it's going to be difficult for you to do that too. Okay. All right. So number two is going to be courage. You have to be courageous. If you're a high value guy, it doesn't mean that you don't feel fear. A lot of people think that these tough guys or these, you know, heroes, they don't feel fear. That's not true at all. In real life, people feel fear all the time. Men feel fear all the time. They just don't let it control them. If you let fear control you, you'll never pursue your dreams. You'll never help out anybody else. You'll never stand up when the moment is right. You know, I, I, I'll give you an example, dude. Like there was, you know, I was at a situation where I was in line to go into a club. We were standing in line and there was a person across the street that fell out of a car. She hurt herself. She was clearly drunk. She hurt herself and everybody in line stood there and watched this happen. I was the only one that ran over and checked on her. Was I afraid about losing my spot in line? Yeah. But do you know what? I faced my fears and I went over and I did the right thing and checked on her to make sure she was okay. And sure enough, people let me back in line and they, you know, congratulated me on helping her. And I was, in my head, I'm like, thank you. But like, what's wrong with your legs? You know, like, why couldn't you have walked over there? People go through life scared all the time. And as a result, people get hurt around them. They're too afraid. They let the fear control them. And it's not that I don't feel the fear. It's just that I'm prepared to face it. That's it. You know, literally posting these videos. Like a lot of people talked about wanting to do this, but they were too scared to put their face on it. They were too scared to actually pursue their dream. I wasn't. So use courage, man. Number three, you want to show mastery in something. If you're not good at something, it's difficult to be a high value guy because you know, what value can you provide to other people if you're not good at something? So this could be your career, this could be hobbies, this could be anything. You know, in my life, I do jujitsu, I grow my business, I do other things as well too, and I'm trying to be good at those things that I do. So I do them regularly and I improve over time. If you're not, you know, getting good at something or if you're not good at something, then it, you're probably not gonna be a high value guy and it doesn't matter what you be good at. Yeah, sure, there's gonna be some things that people might respect a little bit more, but in the end, you wanna do something that you like doing because that's how you get good at something is you do it regularly. So. Pick something, a hobby, anything that you feel like you want to get good at. Cool. Number four is going to be strength. You have to be strong as a high value guy. If you're not strong as a high value guy, it's going to be very difficult for you to support the other people around you. And I'm not just talking about physical strength, although physical strength helps, you know, even just a scrawny guy like me, I actually hit weights and I go to the gym and I'm surprisingly strong. So if you're a guy out there, even if you look like me, or even if you're scrawny, it pays to be able to practice with resistance and lifting things, or at least do something physically active right? But not just physical strength, more important than physical strength is going to be your emotional strength, your resolve. If you're someone who gives up easily, if you're someone who freaks out when things get tough, 
How are you gonna be when you're around a partner? How are you gonna be when you're around your friends? I mean, think about the quintessential father figure. Does he freak out? Does he, you know, crying and sobbing all the time? Not saying men can't cry, but you shouldn't be breaking down at the first sign of trouble. That's not how people look up to you. You're not gonna be a high value guy doing that, so you have to show strength. Okay, strength is one of the quintessential uh, parts of uh, being a man because we are the physically we are the stronger sex, but not. We're just talking about physicality there. Um, but yeah, you want to be stronger. Okay. Number five is you want to be honorable too. Have a code of conduct to yourself. Is the way that you treat other people the way that you feel like you should be treating other people? And in my own life, like I have a code of conduct for the way that I behave towards other people. I, one of the things is honesty. I really place a lot of importance on honesty and being as honest as you can. Even if you hurt the other person's feelings, I, I feel like being honest is the right thing to do. Now, that doesn't mean just openly declaring everything that I feel like is uh, necessarily the first things that come into my head. But if I feel like the truth is important, then I say it. And the second thing also too, is I wanna make sure that I'm, you know, improving, getting better at something. It, you know, if I have to admit that I'm wrong, then, I'm, then I admit that I'm wrong. Okay, that's how you improve. And I don't pretend like I know things if I don't know them. So these are some of the code of codes of conduct that I have for myself, but what are some for you? Write them down and whatever you think they are, stick to them. If you don't stick to principles, you know, who are you? I mean, not a high value guy, that's for sure. Number six is you give value towards others. I hinted at this at the beginning, but it's so important, you guys. The reason why you're a high value guy and people consider you to be a high value guy is you give value towards other people. I'm sure there are like some very rich and very famous people that don't give value to anybody else and they're very selfish with it. And a lot of people are like, well, but Lloyd, aren't they high value? No. Even if you're rich and famous but super selfish and you don't give value to anybody else, you're not a high value guy. People don't want to be around that. Even women, well, even women, they might be attracted to them at first, but once they hang out with them, they, they begin to, you know, they, they don't want to be in that environment. Okay. But even, you know, it, like it's tough for me to find an example of that because even a selfish, uh, like famous rich guy, like he's probably provided value in some way, shape or form, maybe in the past, you know, they did a movie that everybody liked and that was value that he provided or the rich guy, maybe at one point in time at a business that was giving value, but then he got selfish and now he's just kind of resting on his laurels. You know, I get guys who are rich all the time that come to me for help and it's, you know, they have trouble conveying that they give value towards other people. Right? As a high value guy, you have to give value towards others. It's not dependent upon like your fame or wealth or your resources, but those things can't help because you have more to give. But you have to, you have to give towards other people. There's really no reason to have it otherwise. Number seven, you wanna continuously improve, okay? Growing and getting better, those kinds of things are part of being a high value guy. And I know this sounds exhausting to a lot of people. It doesn't mean you can't take breaks. Yeah, sure, you can take breaks. Like taking breaks is important. You wanna do things that are gonna nourish you and energize you to, to, to keep going on in the future. But when guys truly have given up, when they've truly said, you know what, I'm kind of done contributing towards other people, uh, is typically, not always, but a lot of times it's when they retire. When they retire from their career, they just go into their house and they wake up and watch TV every day and shortly after they will die. It usually happens quite quickly for people who retire. The easy way to stay living and to stay loving life is to keep working, to keep doing the things that you love, to keep um, improving other people's lives. It doesn't have to be work, but you have to be doing something. And the moment guys start doing that, they don't really have a reason to live anymore and they know it and you know, they end up, you know, you end up passing away, right? So you don't have to be out on it every day and give as much value as you can every single day. That's exhausting. But overall, you wanna be improving in life. And yes, that should be your goal, you know, to, to improve and give to others. And if you stop, well, then you stop being a high value guy. And that's why a lot of guys die shortly after they retire. All right. Cool, so that's seven. I'm gonna give you one more bonus one. Because this is a dating channel, I would be, you know, it would be an error for me not to say that having charisma and attractiveness to your arsenal makes you a better high value guy. Look, it's not, you can be a high value guy and still not do super well with women. I get a lot of those guys because although you're a high value guy, a lot of women don't see it or the value that you're providing towards other people isn't seen by the women that you wanna date. So a lot of times I'll get these guys who need help in this area 
and they need to market themselves better. Well, an easy way to market yourself better is to you know look more presentable, have game, have charisma, and overall just you know know how to be more like attractive. <laughs> like think about Bill Gates. The Bill Gates is a, well, Bill Gates and Warren Buffett. You know, like would it kill Warren Buffett to get a haircut? You know, like he would be, he would have so much more luck in his dating. If he has a dating life, he's, I know he's happily married. He doesn't care about this sort of stuff. But if you're a guy watching this, you probably are someone who wants to do better with women. If you want to be a high value guy and actually get women, I know high value guys out there that do all of the seven things that I've talked about and they don't work on the last bit, which is usually what I talk about on this channel. Like how to have game, how to have charisma, how to set up your life. So you're meeting women that you want to meet. Like those kinds of things do matter. And I, you know, if I, if you don't include those into your life, you're going to be like, what's the point of me being a high value guy? Cause you know, I'm, I'm going to be realistic. A lot of what we do as men is to impress women, to win over women and those kinds of things. Um, you know, not everything, but a lot of, a lot of what we do. And if you don't have that component, it makes it a lot harder. So. Thanks for watching, you guys. I did a masterclass on this uh, very recently. Uh, there's actually a replay of it. So uh, some of you saw it, some of you didn't. But if you didn't, this is a good summary of kind of what I talked about. I went way more in depth than it and kind of showed you the steps on this. But uh, thanks for watching, you guys, and good luck out there.